listeners. Yes, our God is great. The question is, do you have all that this great God has for you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us every Tuesday and Thursday at 11.15 right here on this station. You are now listening to the Archangel Healing Temple of the Apostolic Faith Church. We are located at 13 Reba Christian Road, Natchez, Mississippi. Now, listen to the enriched Word of God from our very own Pastor Sam Watkins Jr. Praise the Lord. In the book of Math, um, book of Mark, chapter number ten, and verse number seventeen, Mark ten and seventeen. And when he was gone forth and to the way, there came one running, and kneeled to him and asked him, "Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit the eternal life?" Amen. This young man asking Jesus, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Kind of remind me of question asked in Acts chapter number 2. When Peter stood up and preached it, the first uh, message of the inauguration of the church, and New Testament church after Jesus left. And, and uh, he talked about how that Christ was crucified. And he said, now I want all the house of Israel, all you Israelites, I want you to know that God had made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. The one you crucified, the one you hung on the cross. Amen. He is your Lord. God has made him Lord and he has made him Christ. And then they ask, men and brethren, what shall we do? do. So it's similar to this man, this young man coming to Jesus and asks, what should I do that I may inherit eternal life? Amen. And the Bible says in verse number 18 that Jesus said unto him, why callest thou me good? For there is none good but one that is God. He won't let you know, let him know, listen, the answer I'm about to give you, you can uh, rest assured that I have the authority to give it to you because I am God. He said there's none good but one, and that's God. And we know Jesus is, is good. Amen. There's none perfect but one, that's God. We know Jesus was the perfect and upright man, but he wanted to get the man's attention. You kneeling, but you, do you really know who I am? What I'm about to tell you are words of life. Amen. If you accept them, you can be, amen, saved. And Jesus said unto him, he said, Thou know the, the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor thy father and thy mother. Jesus was referring to the Ten Commandments. Amen. I can't understand why, amen, people are so astonished when you say, don't steal, don't kill, don't commit adultery, amen, don't bear false witness. These are God's commandments, amen. When we want to be saved, we seek, amen, to please God. We don't want to grieve God, amen. We get the Holy Spirit. It convicts us, convicts us and we want to please him. We don't want to make God cry. Amen. And the man answered, he said, Master, all these have I observed, observed from my youth. Amen. I got a list of things I do. I, uh, perhaps I, I don't go out late at night. I, I come in before 2 o'clock in the morning. I raise my children up in church and Sunday school. All these things I've done. Amen. But Jesus wants to also want to know, are you going to be able to pass the heart test? You are 
pass the D test, but do you love me enough to commit your whole life to me? Do you love me enough to give up everything for me? Jesus beholding him in verse number 21 and loved him. The reason Jesus spent so much time with him and, and took time out of his busy schedule to, to talk with him because he loved him. God is talking to, to us today because he loves us. God is continuing to deal with us and continue to send his word to us because he loves us. Amen. And he wants us to respond. If I tell you what you need to do to inherit eternal life, will you do it? If I tell you what you need to do to be saved, will you do it? Amen. Or will you say, uh, 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 I, I don't usually do it that way. That's not the way I grew up. Or that's not the way uh, my, my great-great-grandparents did it. No, Jesus wants to know, will you do what I ask you to do? Will we do what thus says the Lord? Amen. He said, uh, I, I, the Bible said he loved him. Jesus behold him, love him, and said unto him, One thing thy like is. Go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasures in heaven. And come take up the cross and follow me. Amen. The Bible said, And he was sad at the saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possession. I want to know what one thing would stop you from, amen, being saved today. What one thing that would cause you to draw the line and say, I, I do this, I do that, but I would not give up this. Amen. I would not give up this thing, this habit. I, let me tell you, ain't nothing worth holding on to, amen, that would keep you out of heaven. Ain't nothing worth going to hell for. Amen. Amen. Give it up for Jesus. Take up the cross and follow him. Commit your ways to God. Amen. Amen. Give up your way and respond to his way. He is Lord. Make Jesus your Lord. Amen. Many times we want to take Jesus as a Savior, but we don't want to use uh, take him as our Lord. Lord, tell me what to do. Tell me what to say. I'll submit to your will. I'll submit, submit to your way. I want you to save me. But I want to make you my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Amen. If you want to do that, respond. Don't walk away sad like this young man did. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let no one stop you from inheriting King eternal life. No, no thing stop you from inheriting eternal life. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you on next time. Amen. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. But please come and visit with us here at Archangel, 13 Reba Christian Road. That's going north on MLK, 1st Street, past Steam Plant Road. Our services are each Sunday with Sunday school starting at 9.45 a.m. and morning worship at 11 and also Sunday evening services at 6 o'clock p.m. Our Bible classes are each Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. nightly. You may call us at 601-906-7120. You may mail your prayer requests or financial contributions if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry to P.O. Box 642, Natchez, Mississippi 39121. Come see us and may God bless you. Have